One of the key decisions we have to make now early in the season is how do we, how do we want to manage our nutrients because we know that we want to somehow achieve a yield of like maybe seven tons per hectare yeah. so we need to get quite a bit of nutrients into that plant yeah. and we want to do it in a very efficient way and you know, using whatever we have as our best management recommendation. We came up uh, after many years of research with uh, tools that farmers and extension workers can use and I'm going to use one of these tools here so what I have here is a small tablet computer it runs the Android uh, system and we have on this little tablet uh, an application or app as they're called nowadays uh, that we released uh, last year for farmers in the Philippines as a first uh, example it's called Nutrient Manager Rice or sometimes also Nutrient Manager Mobile and it's very simple to use it's all touch screen here as you can see if you don't have an Android smartphone like this you can also use it through a normal phone and call a toll-free number in the Philippines and all it does it's asking you uh, 12 13 14 questions about your field so the first question that is asking me right now here is enter the size of the rice field to be fertilized in hectares or in lengths and widths so I'm selecting hectares because I know that our field is uh, a quarter of a hectare or 0.25 hectares so I'm entering that we obviously need this uh, to make a proper uh, calculation. The next thing it's asking me is uh, in what uh, region we are located here in the Philippines. So I'm choosing Laguna Province because that's where Los Banos is located. Yeah. And I can even uh, choose Los Banos as a location uh, just to make it more visible where I am. So after I've chosen those things, uh, the next question is asking me is uh, what cropping system I have and I have to choose, I have pictures here, one, two or three crops here and I'm choosing two crops because we're growing usually a dry season crop and a wet season crop. Then it's asking me what season it is. It's the dry season crop. So I have a picture here with the sun and the rice plant so I'm choosing the dry season. Next. And the next question I have to answer is where my water comes from. Is it from a surface irrigation canal? Is it from a tube well? Or do I have no irrigation? So here in Erie, we are using tube well water that comes actually quite deep uh, out of the earth and contains quite a bit of nutrients, particularly potassium. You know? So I'm choosing tube well irrigation. But there are some other uh, questions that I have to answer here. So and I'm just going through this, it's also asking me whether I apply any organic fertilizer. Now we have chosen not to apply organic fertilizer because we have a very fertile soil here. It's a mass clay soil, it's rich in organic matter, has over 2% soil organic carbon, it's rich in many other things, so we don't believe that uh, by applying organic fertilizer we could get an extra benefit in terms of yield or profit. And when I'm done, it will spit out, hopefully, uh, fertilizer recommendation. I can also specify my personal details. So I have to give it a name now. Uh, I'm my own farmer. So after I've done all this, voila, comes out a fertilizer recommendation. Welcome back. Uh, it's now about uh, 12 days after sowing, so we're about ready to put the first uh, fertilizer dose on. So I've calculated the amount already a few days before. And uh, this is our uh, first fertilizer, so it's uh, 14, 14, 14. So it contains uh, roughly equal proportions of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to get the crop going. We need particularly the nitrogen and the phosphorus uh, early at this stage because that stimulates the tillery. So I've got uh, about one bag and another bucket full to distribute over my field here. So each bucket is roughly uh, 12 kilos, so I have to make sure that it lasts for one walk through the field, uh, 100 meters long. So that's going to be my big challenge, to make sure that I evenly spread it and don't run out of it halfway through. So you can see it's a, it's a granular fertilizer, so it's pretty easy to handle. Uh, it doesn't stick, so I should be able to uh, throw it, spread it quite well. Uh. 
this is a horrible soil. 